Good morning! Welcome to another video from Mexico City. In this video, I'm gonna show you how we spent our weekend. We stayed in Mexico City for several months and we still have a lot to see before we leave. We actually have the whole list. So this is very busy weekend and maybe it's gonna give you an idea on what to do in Mexico City while you're there. I'm actually going to start with Friday night. We went out and this is us being stuck in traffic. My advice number one to you, use subway, especially in traffic time. Subways are nice, they're clean, they may be overcrowded, but at least you're gonna be anywhere you wanna be on time, unlike us, so we were late. And this is how happy because of that we were with our experience. We went on a sightseeing, bus tour yep sightseeing bus tour city tour and it costed only 80 pesos this is what kind of view we got because we we're on the very back we were late and afterwards i actually saw that there is another company and their buses are fully open they have no top at all maybe consider them instead so these buses are a nice option if you're feeling lazy, if you don't want to run around, they take you everywhere, all the main attractions, monuments. I suggest you to bring your own headphones because the main narration is in Spanish and if you want to listen in English to the information, you should bring your own headphones. They probably not gonna have any headphones for you. This is the end, we got a good view. <laughs> All done. Wait, what? Did you see that? Let's see it again. Okay, that was pretty cool. So after the bus tour, we ended up in a historical district at the main square. It's called Zocalo Square. And this is the main cathedral in Mexico City. We're gonna visit it later in this video. So the square is all pretty and decorated. That was Independence Month. Everything was illuminating, pretty, and the night was still young. We didn't have any plans. It was Friday night, so we decided to walk around a little bit. Later on, we stumbled on this jazz club and we didn't have any dinner yet, we didn't have any plans, so we've decided to go and see what's good tonight. They actually had a concert plan, so we decided to stay and spend the night there. So it's a vault? Yeah. Used to be a room. There's something else over here. Later on, we actually found out that the jazz club is in a building which used to be bank, so it's a big bank vault in a basement. Here is their food menu, you can pause if you want to read through and this is the food we had, we liked all of it. Okay, so we got in and I found a poster for the concert because we didn't know who was playing and there was a girl singer. And we went to Jaws before and we actually forgot that we we're not intelligent enough to understand jazz. <laughs> and then we saw there's gonna be a singer who is singing jazz and we started making jokes about oh is there gonna be like a like a gibberish <laughs> and the girl went out and she started singing and Again, we're not educated enough and we don't know much about jazz, but uh, it actually did happen like that. <laughs> it was 
it was super funny. Super funny. <laughs> yeah, it was. So now it's after midnight and we're going back to the busy street and there is a bunch of music playing. We'll see how many people are out. I'm really interested. And it's Friday now, it's night. It's Friday night. Probably a lot of people, drunk people as well. We'll see. Oh wow, it's empty. It's actually empty. There is music playing from the buildings. I think they're nightclubs, but we're too old. We don't come. Ay ay ay. Here we are back to the Saturday morning. And since it's not only a travel suggestion video, but also a vlog, here you're looking at the part of my morning routine. And as I've mentioned before, we only have a little bit time left in Mexico City and we still have a long list of things we wanted to cross off. So we're trying to figure out how to make most out of the time we have left. This is Sam and I trying to figure that out and this is a list of things we still want to do. So let's do it! It's already 1.30 and we picked three things to do for today but all three of them are closing at 6 p.m. One is 5.30 So it's a pretty ambitious plan, let's see Let's see if we can make it We also need to have some breakfast We haven't had any Cheers! Loading metro cart We're back at the Historica. First stop on our way is Palacio Postal, which is a flagship of Mexico's national postal system. The building is over a century old. It was built in 1907. It's got absolutely beautiful architecture and interior decorations. So you should definitely come here to take all your Instagram worthy pictures. The entrance is free, you can look around this hall, you can go much farther and you actually still can watch Posto Office operate out of here. Our next stop is actually right across the street. This is the National Museum of Art, which represents Mexican art starting from 16th century to these days. The entrance is 80 pesos per person. You have to pay extra if you want to be taking pictures or videos, which seems to be a common case in Mexico City museums. On top of impressive building itself and a permanent collection of at least 3,000 pieces of art, they usually have some temporary collections. This time it was collection around food and uh, there was a rebrand room this time as well. Besides being a museum, this space also holds concerts, screenings, lectures, conferences, and it actually has a library as well, which mainly focuses on literature about Mexican art. So I'll give you a moment to enjoy what I enjoyed, and if art isn't your thing, you can just skip to the next chapter of this video. What do you think? Yeah, I think the same. <laughs> I absolutely loved it! I've never been to a building like that. It's so beautiful, just building itself is so impressive and never mind the art. <sighs> it's literally just Mexico City for you. Museum, 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 
Museums everywhere. A lot of them are free too. What was your favorite part in the museum? And, uh, the building. The building was really cool. The building? Huge, like a palace. Just imagine living in it. It'd be crazy. Hungry. Looking yeah. good, yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. So excited. <laughs> You're so excited. <laughs> mm. Yum, yum, yum. I don't think we are making it to all the places anymore. It's like 4 p.m. or after 4. Uh, we are going to the cathedral. I hope it's open and Google didn't lie about open hours. And we'll see where we go from there. Probably some other food spot. <laughs> but sushi were good. It was good. It was good. Ah, there it is. here just last night this is the daytime kind of situation Saturday traffic's crazy a lot of people you gotta just go with it make your way through So the full name of the cathedral is Metropolitan Cathedral of the Assumption of the Most Blessed Virgin Mary into Heaven. Construction started in late 16th centuries and took almost 250 years and due to the long construction time it led to many various architectural styles and designs that were replacing each other back then. Apparently videos are not allowed in cathedrals, so there are just a couple shots I took before someone came up to me to tell me so. Absolutely enormous church. I've never been to such a big one like this. It's already after 5 p.m. I don't know if we're gonna manage to do something else, some more. Oh, look at that, there is a poop. You might do something if you're not, I don't know. My phone is about to die, so I don't think I'm going to be able to film much more. So we were done for the day. Here is a little recap of our way back home, taking the subway again. Here is me crossing off things we did today out of our to-do list. And for tonight, we are watching a movie about Frida Kahlo because we are planning on going to her house slash museum sometime next week. Sunday morning in Mexico City, we're starting with a subway ride again. By the way, if you are a solo female traveler, take advantage of those pink only female areas in subway to take. So here is our first destination, it's the Palacio de Bellas Artes, the Palace of Fine Arts. We came here to see permanent as well as temporary exhibitions they're holding today on Sunday, so the entrance is free, this is why the line is so long. Here we actually got in already and this is the main hall you can see of the palace. Today's temporary exhibition is Surrealismo, so they're showcasing art of Surrealists from Mexico and all over the world. You can pause and read more about this exhibition on this picture, here is info. Pieces were brought from all over the world and you can find any media represented in this exhibition. We have video, paintings, photos, collages, sculptures, anything you can think of. And a lot of artworks of our main, one of the main surrealist guys, Salvador Dali, of course I'm talking about. A lot of his artwork were represented here. I really liked the exhibition and I'm glad I had a chance to go.
and as a permanent exhibition within palace you can see the walls painted with murals by various artists and a lot of the murals are painted by Mexican star artist Diego Riviera so this is one of his murals all of them are enormous they're huge i can't imagine how much time it took and you can stand there a long time uncovering what's behind it what's the meaning of them i personally don't share views of this artist i came to see it from artistic perspective here is my disagreement to the political statements uh but yeah if you want to see murals of diego rivera come see them or not i don't know After we were done with the exhibition, we went to take a bus to our next destination and we had to walk through this beautiful park, it's called Alameda Central, which is the city's oldest public park. Here is a thought, if you're still watching this video by this point, make sure you're subscribed. Obviously you're liking it, it's what, almost 15 minutes of the video, so hit that like button and subscribe. Thank ya! So we took a metro bus, which is this big two-story red bus that goes on Reforma Avenue. You're most likely gonna see most of the major tourist attractions are somewhere along the Reforma Avenue or connected by it. So I'm pretty sure you're gonna have to take that road one way or another. So we only have five stops to go. We're going to Chapultepec Park to visit Chapultepec Castle. I want to give credit to the designers of the map system, look at that, you can get around just by knowing how the landmark looks without having to read or understand Spanish, which will be nice, but if you don't, you will find your way around the city anyways. By the way, buses have these pink female-only areas as well, just like Subway does. We have arrived to Chapel Tech Park, which is huge and hosting so many activities and several museums. And on this side is a Museum of Modern Art and it's actually free entrance today as well, every Sunday. But we are going to the castle. So I'm sick of art. Chapultepec Park is actually one of the largest in the world. It's size more than twice bigger than Central Park and it consists many, many, many activities, different buildings, cultural, historical places. This is a little shot of a restroom for you to remind, carry some coins around, it will always be handy. Now we are going up there to the castle. In the beginning of the way there are lockers you can leave your belongings in, again bring some coins, some little cash. So the way up to the castle is around 10 minutes, most likely you want to wear comfortable shoes and enjoy the views around, it's beautiful all the way there. And we approached the line, beautiful views everywhere around. Okay, you know what, I find it absolutely ridiculous how beautiful these places are. I mean, I can't imagine living here, I would love to. Is it bad? I'd love to live here. Chapultepec Castle located on the top of the hill in Chapultepec Park and actually the word Chapultepec stands for on the hill of the grasshopper. 
The main thing you need to know about this castle is, so in the whole North American continent, there are only two places where monarchs actually lived. Both of them are in Mexico City, one is in historical district and you're looking at another one. Chapultepec Castle is one of two places where monarchs actually lived in the whole North American continent. Throughout its history, the palace served in many different roles, such as military academy, imperial residence, presidential residence later on, observatory, and ever since 1940s, it is a National Museum of History. Ridiculous. Freaking ridiculous. Imagine you're stepping out on your balcony and this is your view on the patio and on your winter gardens. Just imagine this morning. Here we got to one of the most famous viewpoints of the castle. You can see Reforma Avenue going all the way up with the Angel of Independence. Very nice views all over the park. Now I would like to get to the part that impressed me probably the most. So patio is very wild and it has many open rooms like that. Let's see what they were. Room number one, this is reading room. Now imagine yourself sitting there, reading your book, drinking coffee or tea with the view like that. Just come out, fresh air. Okay, next one, billiard room. Billiard, you know, it's called in the US. Pool, pool, like in a bar, the game you play. Talking about games, this is games room. You guessed it right, yep. Last but not least, we have smoking room right here. You remember the view. Baby, why are you so sad? So beautiful, I can't do it. Shortly we had to leave because the museum was closing at 5 p.m. and we didn't get a chance to walk around gardens. So if you're planning on going, make sure you have enough of time to see everything you want. Then we've decided to go for a dinner to the seafood restaurant, which is in Roma Norte. It's called Contramar and we're walking there because look at that traffic. So usually you need reservation if you want to make sure you get in. We were lucky they had a table on a short notice, so this is where we had dinner. To see, but it looks pretty. <gasps> You're stealing? Show me yours. Are they good? Thank you for still watching, here is a little bit of bonus content for you. So on the next day on Monday we went to the grocery store and this library is actually on our way to the grocery store. So look at this place, how cool is this? Come here to take all your Instagram pictures, such a dystopian sci-fi, absolutely amazing library. I'm a library nerd, I've never been to one like this and I absolutely loved it. On the very next day, I took off from Mexico City to do a Vipassana course. Comment below if you know what it is and if you would like to know what that is, let me know as well and I will make a video telling you all about Vipassana and I'll see you soon. Make sure you subscribe to not miss it. Thank you so much for watching.